Rotor Riot Dremel Drone. <laughs> get, get I, ready. I was in this episode. And so, yeah. So you we know from this, this episode that you cheated. You know that you cheated. Shut up. You shut. You are supposed <laughs> to be on my side. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that handsome devil. Look at that handsome devil. That's, this is actually why I decided to grow a beard. Because look, look, look. I, want, I know this is not on topic, Blunty. Okay. Here's me. Okay. There was me. And then uh, here I am. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I can't get myself on camera. Uh, okay, fine. And then here's look at that majestic Swede. <laughs> Why did we cheat, Blunty? How did we cheat? Because you didn't use the motor in the Dremel. Okay, I would like to say that that was David Windersall's project. That uh, he was the one who made all those design decisions, and I. Uh, I was just appearing in the episode. No, you're right. Well, we didn't. We used a yeah. 3S battery, a brushed. We actually did use the motor. Uh, we drove the motor with a brushed ESC and right. a 3S battery. So yes. it wasn't like the stock gearing or I don't know what he did, but it yeah. wasn't just an unmodified Dremel tool. Fine. You're you're right. Well, Mr. Shreepel has built an un essentially unmodified Dremel tool helicopter. So he's gone and done... Uh, yeah, it's so use the controller inside of the Dremel and all that kind of stuff. And uh, oh, he's referencing and, yeah. our video. That's nice. And, yeah, yeah you pay respect, him. Peter Shreepel. You <laughs> he's think mentioning you're so how hot. you guys didn't do it, you know, legit. He's not paying respect. He's actually just taking the piss out of us. Uh, <laughs> he's honoring his uh, previous, you know, <laughs> the previous comers to this idea. <laughs> uh, so I saw his. Uh, his uh, angle grinder airplane. I don't think I've seen this one. God damn. Yeah. This guy's good. That's how you get 2.17 million subscribers. You actually yes. have talent and skill and creativity <laughs> and, and you'll just sit, sit behind a computer and talk shit all day. Oh, man. Well, anyway, this re examine my whole life. Uh, okay, I got to go watch this. We will, uh, we'll, there's a link in the video description, of course. Yeah. Next up, we've got something we can't show you because we're going to yeah. get probably a content strike for it. Unfortunately, I'm going to show uh, but it. We do. Uh, I'm going to show. But we do want to screen grab. Yeah, we wanted to let you know though that we do know that Taco Bell has a drone commercial. If you don't know, Taco Bell has a commercial where we've got two guys uh, ostensibly flying drones. Looks more like standing around looking like they're <laughs> flying drones with pasted drones above them. But regardless. Mm -hmm. We got guys with DJI goggles on and uh, DJI controllers, or iFlight controllers, whichever. Yeah. And it looks like uh, you know we're referencing FPV drones, which is pretty yeah, cool. It does. It does look like they actually flew two drones over these guys' heads. They are wearing the gear. They're, they're they're flying their drones. Then they get hungry. They order some Taco Bell. Then they eat the Taco Bell. And I just like to. Can I freeze frame this without getting a copy <laughs> strike? I felt like this shot was a little bit gratuitous. It's like, do I really need to be literally up a in this guy's the, mouth? I feel like they're trying to equate the idea that FPV is some kind of close up or something. Like, I, you think, oh, like, I, that do was I? My, that was my. Does this impression. shot really need to be this close? <laughs> no, the answer is no. <laughs> like, come on. They are also playing the crap out of this con, uh, commercial. I've seen this commercial so many times on YouTube yeah. and TV and all kinds of places. And then they uh, they go back to their flying, and this guy's like missing. He's putting his hot sauce on his, but he can't see. He can't see because he's got his FPV goggles on. Am I right? <laughs> Idiot. The other guy uh, agrees with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those are DJI controllers. Their antennas are folded. Anyway, FPV in the news. We didn't. We, we can't play it because we'll get it. I'm sure. It was, I mean, even those still frames might be enough to get a copy, not a copy strike, but a copyright claim. But I didn't yeah. play any video, and hopefully, one frame per second is enough to get away with it. But we we can't show it to you. But we want to acknowledge that it exists. Yep, it's in the video description if you'd like to go watch a commercial. Two dollar chicken burrito. Sign me up. Oh my god. <laughs> I like. I'll 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 eat a Taco Bell taco, but I'm not going to pretend it's good. I'm not going to pretend it's good. I mean, it depends on the state you're in. <laughs> how is the Taco Bell in Alabama? No, I mean the the oh the state you're in. The state you're in. <laughs> I understand. I understand now. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, 
Like you give me some four in the morning drunken Waffle House. Yeah. That's heaven. Yeah. Um, next up. Okay. Next up. Uh, drone deliveries are happening and Glendale, Arizona no. residents oh, are not sorry. happy about it. Which, I'm sorry. You, my bad. You're right, as usual. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not the next story. So, yeah, we've heard a lot about drone delivery, uh, but unfortunately, Gren Glendale residents in Arizona have asked Walmart to stop their drone delivery service because uh, they don't like it. It sounds like a hornet's nest that's been kicked up, says Mike that's Baxter. Right. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, people do not like them. Mm. I, I okay. kind of say we, we, we should have expected this. I kind of expected this. Yeah. Uh, this adoption is going to take some time for people to get used to that noise. That is for sure. Yeah. Every Someone will complain about anything that happens. Um, yes. But, uh, you know, fortunately, Walmart has never been too concerned about, uh, you know, doing things that are bad for the local community. So uh, it'll probably and, – and, and using their massive money and influence to get their way in local politics. So I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm curious to see if the FAA or somebody will have any concern over this sort of thing. Like uh, one parallel I think about is uh, cannabis. Uh, when we originally had cannabis laws, uh, we did not have a smell ordinance. And then after many, many complaints, we started getting a smell ordinance. And there's actually a legal amount of PPM of cannabis smell you can have at the roadside. And if you violate it, you're in violation of a new odor ordinance they added. So... Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe we'll get some kind of uh, nose ordinance, noise ordinance I, that's global, or maybe it'll be regional. So I thought the smell was like part of the appeal, right? Not to the residents in the area who now have a new smell uh, that's uh, all over their house. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. From like, from what? From like a dispensary or just from their neighbors smoking? Or from smoking? a grow. Yeah. Like, oh. or, or typically <gasps> it's grows. You're saying, yeah. you're, pardon me for being so naive. You're saying that yeah. when you're not smoking it and you just have plants growing in a field, it makes a, a cannabis smell. Yes. And it's a very distinct that. smell. Yeah. It's okay. a growing cannabis smell versus a smoking cannabis smell. Yeah. Oh, I, it sounds like I, I'm now I'm curious. <laughs> well, if anybody wants to send me some cannabis plants so I can smell them, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Don't. Uh, that's just it. <laughs> that would be very bad. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Next up. Next up, we talked before about the drone light show record. Uh, and we talked about the fact, I believe IBM uh, had the drone light show record at 1,000 drones in the air. And uh, Sky Elements Drone Shows has decided to one-up them literally by one. And they've put 1,001 drones into the air, breaking the drone record. Nice. Yeah. Wow. So I want to let you know about that. And the next company will do it with 1,002. Yes. You can okay. surprisingly get uh, some cool images when you've got 1,000 drones. Yeah. I bet. Oh, here's an FPV shot. Nice. Always like to see that. Jesus Christ. This is just the beginning, Blunty. Like think oh, yes. back to like the, you know, the, the 64 by 64 pixel LCD black and white display on, you know, a freaking, I don't know, calculator from the 80s. And you were like, whoa, that's cool. And now we have, you know, 4K OLED. This is, this is that. In 20 years, you know, if civilization hasn't collapsed by then. Then uh, you know we're. This is just going to be. It's going to be ridiculous. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, it's getting getting wild. All right. Uh, UK. I love your titles. You're, you're, I, you were in a little bit of a mood this week when you wrote the titles. Oh, I don't know. Hold on, you skipped one. Hold on, we got oh, one more. Oh God, dang it! I always okay. <laughs> Uh, next the next thing. one that we've got up is Amazon is doing drone deliveries in California and Texas. So Arizona is saying to stop. Amazon has finally started. Amazon's been trying to do this for a while. Um, and yeah, they've kicked into full gear doing deliveries in California and Texas. Um, we've talked before, you know, their goal is to get a higher weight. Uh, so right now they've got five pounds is the number for their mm. weight, which is respectable. Uh, yeah, that was the goal they were trying to get to. Um, but they do not list that I've seen here a actual uh, operating range on these guys. Uh, originally, I think yeah. it was five pounds at 10 kilometers or, or eight kilometers, something like that. So hmm. It's interesting. It looks like, I mean, it looks like they are trying to take advantage of 
some airfoil lifting surfaces, uh, but they haven't really built a, like a VTOL wing. Uh, so it's kind of kind of hard to understand what's going on here, to be honest with you. It looks like it's in forward flight, right? Uh, it yes. Clearly looks like it's in forward flight. Interesting. Yep. It, like, I believe it picks up like a VTOL and then turns and flies. Yeah. yeah. But that, that, those, those don't look like they're big enough to provide much lift. So, hmm. all right. Um, uh, next up, UK drone pilot pleads guilty to being an idiot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, that, that's pretty much what happens. Uh, unfortunately, this guy was stupid, and uh, they have evidence of it, and he pleaded guilty. Uh, he basically flew well, during an air show uh, right next to— During uh, an air show? Yes. Uh, and he flew next to a Memorial Flight Hurricane heli uh, plane. Uh, just really, really dumb stuff. There was a yes. TFR, or what they call it, a TAR over there. Um, it's very dumb. Very, very dumb. Yeah. Well, even if there isn't a like a, a flight restriction, don't fly next to a full scale aircraft without coordination with the pilot. Yeah, right? it seems pretty easy. Seems okay. seems pretty easy. So, um, twenty thousand people were watching him do this. I just want to point that out. So you're saying there were witnesses? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> very much so. Next step. Next up, we've got a uh, cool little project we wanted to point out, which was uh, from CB Unmanned. And these are flight controllers uh, with a special addition. Uh, these have integrated um, Raspberry Pi compute modules. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to cover this story. Uh, I don't. We don't have a lot to say about it because most of the technical details are like, I just nod along and go, oh, it sounds interesting. It's just cool to see somebody breaking the mold with flight controllers. Uh, maybe it's because I spend all my time in the beta flight world. Like in the RG pilot world, I think Raspberry Pi is not that unheard of. But uh, it's really cool to see this integration of the flight controller, the Raspberry Pi carrier board, and so on. And it really opens up. Uh, like Zoe was working for a while, a long time ago, years ago, at a company that was doing a Raspberry Pi-based iNav little three-inch and it could do just all kinds of crazy interesting stuff with sensors and inputs that flight controllers don't usually have. So when I heard this, I thought this is, this guy's a smart cookie and he, they're doing something really interesting. So I just wanted to yeah. shine a little light on that. Yeah, if you click on that real quick, if you click on that CM405FC on the left, it just shows like, basically the goal here is you're, it's taking that compute module and shrinking it down into this sort of compact setup that's like got a purpose-built ESC that snaps together with it and stuff and mm -hmm. yeah so pretty cool very cool very cool uh last up we've got the Mobigital 03 and this is it's barely news because on the on the one hand it's just a 75 millimeter tiny whoop with a naked 03 on it, so like, what is there to say about it? But on the other hand, this is the smallest, lightest O3 quadcopter I've ever seen. I think it may be in contention for the record. Mr. Shutterbug somewhere just leapt out of bed <laughs> and started <laughs> started working on it. Uh, very cool. Uh, major guts to disassemble your O3 like this, but okay, sir. Uh, and uh, we've got a link to the full video down in the video description. He's showing how he sets it up, how he lightens it, how he builds it. You could follow along. Uh, and uh, we got flight footage. We well, surely we got flight footage, right? Come on, come on. You son of a bitch. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's flight footage here. You son of a. How dare you? I'm gonna. I'm not subscribed to you, but I'm gonna subscribe he's and got, I'm gonna unsubscribe. He's, he's got another video. If you click on his channel, you could see. You better give me flight footage of this damn thing. Dax. That sec second video there, yeah. It needs to be it needs to be in there. Dax, come on, man. You got to give the people what they want. 75 mm. I want to hear these motors. Oh, nope, it's music. I want to hear these screaming 75 millimeter motors. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I mean, the video yeah. is an 03. How did he get the camera down to that weight? Jeez. Anyway, I guess we'll have to watch the video and find out. 
to find yeah we go back you're you're i sense a tone sense a tone <laughs> over there on your side of the all righty well i'll be finishing the stream alone <laughs> fortunately the stream's already over so <laughs> um all righty guys uh that's gonna do it for this week <laughs>